Hello everyone, so we are back. Um, we will do some uh, presentation now uh, about support and then about the PRC as I promised. Um, we have here uh, sitting beside me Anna Bailina. Uh, she is a support specialist and she will guide you through the uh, support basic training. Um, go ahead, Anna. Thank you. Thank you, Effie. Uh, hi, everybody. I hope you are all well. Uh, so today I'm going to speak on um, our Panorama support team, and uh, I would like to share with you uh, the way that we, that we work, our, our workflow, and the way we resolve uh, different uh, types of incidents. And also, uh, some, I will briefly go over some uh, recommendations that we recommend uh, to our customers how uh, how is uh, on, on the best way to, to work with support to get the uh, the most quick re resolution to the problem. Okay, so basically, what do we do? Um, we communicate with our customers uh, via calls and emails. Uh, also, we maintain and maintain our knowledge base site, which is currently uh, overgoing a renewal process. Uh, also, we have uh, the technical forum where we answer uh, questions and requests, and also uh, where customers can communicate with each other. And we perform online trainings. Uh, online trainings, uh, which can, which will, uh, which called Panorama Academy, they are perform performed uh, once a month, and everybody who wants can uh, subscribe to such training and uh, check the dates and. Um, of course, uh, uh, it. So, um, of course, every team member has a proper qualification to answer your request. So, but of course, if uh, your request was not handled in the way that you uh, you wanted, you always can escalate uh, the request to team manage to team manager, uh, which uh, we have two, two team managers in uh, Canada. We have one team, which uh, James is a team manager there, and I am a team manager in uh, Israeli team. So our SLA, we work uh, on, on top of our SLA, the service level agreement. Um, every customer, for every Panorama customer, has, um, has signing this uh, service agreement with, uh, with Panorama, uh, which basic uh, topics are, 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 are as such. Um, we treat every call by priority order. This will be uh, helpful also for us and also for our customers. So every call will be treated as it should be. Um, the urgent calls, which are uh, calls that refer to production down, uh, we, treat, we treat up to two hours. Uh, calls that we call like medium severity, which affects very important uh, business tasks, but it's not considered as production file failure. Uh, we treat up to four hours, the primary uh, response. And all other calls, which are not urgent or medium, uh, are standard calls. And the first request, the uh, first response is up to 24 hours. Um, also, I would like to uh, mention that we don't speak on resolution time here, because not always we can understand and know what is the exact failure and, and the problem, what causes the failure. And of course, the resolution time might take time. It all depends on, on the problem type. Um, so what we're going to speak like briefly today, um, I will uh, speak there about uh, the request categorization. Uh, I will provide you the form that you can fill to uh, provide your, your uh, information about your request. And also I will refer to existing knowledge sources. So how do we treat any incoming support request? Uh, of course, we get of course the uh, email or for phone call contact uh, prior, we treat the request. Um, we, of course, prefer the email because then all information is being gathered and all support members can see it. The second step, which is the most important and usually it's the most time consuming, is the information gathering. Uh, during, this pro during this step, we need to gather as much as information as possible on the request and on the problem that you are having. Of course, by providing uh, the, 
the most information ahead about your case, about things you already have tried, or maybe not successful, or maybe successful, will help us to resolve the case much faster. After we receive the full information, we categorize the request and uh, provide uh, diagnostics, which we can identify that the problem is with this component or other component or within server configuration or some other place to identify the reason. And as a last step, step which is usually qu pretty quick after we diagnose the problem, we offer a resolution or a workaround, or we can uh, say that this issue and this uh, question is actually as designed. This, the program works as it should work. So some, uh, in some cases, this might be an issue. But of course, also then we can prevent, um, provide a workaround. Or the problem related to some third party um, and software. Because uh, as you as probably uh, if you showed you or, or you, you have figured out that Nolfi works with a lot of uh, third party applications, as, such as OLAP, is IES. Okay, so uh, basic request, uh, basic uh, request categorization is on three levels. It's uh, that small function. Something is obviously does not work as it should. When you see some error message where you don't expect to see it, or you see a behavior that you expect uh, expect it to behave otherwise. Uh, other uh, the second type of request is the feature, the software currently is not capable of doing it, but I want the software to do something else, something is not, uh, that is not uh, inside of it. And the third one, the third one is a question how to do something. So uh, basically most, of course, obviously our questions that we receive is how to do something usually. So I will later on this presentation refer you to our knowledge base and the places where you can receive answers on how to do this or that. So um, we have two, things, two uh, uh, sources that you can use to uh, provide our, uh, the information. Is that you can use the attached Excel sheet if, if it's more comfortable for you. And you can also use the online form which is linked in, in the presentation. OK, so what do we call an incident? Usually, this is um, all the first category when something obviously uh, expected uh, to work, but it does not. So the question that support usually asks the, uh, uh, you uh, is how do you expect it to work if it's not very obvious, of course, and how does it work in different circumstances? Because there are a lot of ways to make things work. You can, you can make things work in one thing and also the other. So um, also the, the third very important question that usually makes us understand the source of the problem is when the problem initially started or, or when you have first noticed it. Is, uh, of course, if you will say that you, uh, it, it started with, within right after the installation, we treat it differently as if you say it started, it all worked fine, and it started just yesterday. So, and of course, we the, the last one, we ask what was the last step before the problem uh, was encountered. For example, if the Windows updates were installed, it was the last step, and then everything gone wrong, we will suspect the Windows updates that they made something wrong. So we will investigate from this point. And uh, after we categorize this, uh, and we gather the, inform the information, uh, we perform the very detailed categorization of the, problem, of the problem. We have seven categories and the miscellaneous, which is uh, all incidents that are not fitting any other category. Uh, we do not expect, of course, our customers to perform that kind of categorization. It, it is just uh, for your knowledge and understanding that problems can be in, in various aspects, and of course, we work until we uh, provide a solution in, on, on any aspect of the problem. So as I said, it's, it could be some just a simple malfunction. Uh, the problem could be a UI issue or simply a visual issue, like a chart or the grid is not representing correctly. Um, the issue could be a security issue where the user does not see the data 
that he is supposed to, or the opposite way, uh, which is usually the uh, configuration. Um, the data uh, issues that you see numbers or you see calculations that uh, you not expect them to be seen. Uh, performance issue is that that that's what we call any issue that uh, you um, exposed to a decreased performance or to the performance in, in poor of any state of application uh, application when it's loading, when it's opening any view, when the, any performing some operation, etc. Issues related to installation or upgrade, uh, that there's some problems that you might have might experience. And uh, issues that uh, might uh, be occurred when you're using our software development kit, which is uh, a tool that uh, that we provide to write your own custom application. Of course, uh, miscellaneous is, is, is a category where all other uh, issues are fit. So on our best practices, the, the questions are those that define uh, that define our the problem as the problem, and also uh, can show or help us to show you the solution. Because uh, I think we 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 aware of most of the issues are like uh, they um, con they are very similar among the customers, and all also we present them a solution. Uh, and if we see some issue that is repeating, we uh, provide a uh, complete solutions like in the hot fix or a fix. Um, so first we will ask uh, what version of Java uh, or Flash you're using. As you probably know, uh, Nexto is a Flash-based uh, application, and uh, Flash is uh, Flash is the basis of it. It's the technology that uh, lays beneath it, and so we we will be glad to know what Flash version you are using. Also, the browser version in terms of Explorer. Panorama definition uh, that you're working with, it should be defined under trusted sites in the browser. Okay, no view should be uh, should be set in website. Uh, sorry, trusted sites in the browser. Um, also, screenshot of the problem before or after uh, is very recommended because uh, screenshot sometimes is very explaining. And um, also then, the, the, the final uh, information piece that we might ask is uh, the problem uh, appears on a server only, or uh, on client only, or appears on both. OK, so um, existing knowledge sources that I can refer you to, at least at the start, those are uh, uh, techprama.com. Uh, and the Panorama Forum. I'm sorry, I forgot to place the link. But uh, after you enter to techpanorama.com, in the upper right corner, you get the link to the forum. And uh, the place where all Novio documentation is gathered is within the Panovio installation under the documentation directory. So uh, documentation directory uh, consists of uh, 10 different guides, guides that uh, every one of them can show you a different aspect of no view and answer the most questions that can uh, can raise when using uh, when using the product um, uh, starting from administration and ending with end user experience okay so currently I think I've all made a very brief overview of how support works and how um, and how can you work with uh, with us that it will make uh, make it uh, more efficient. Then, and I hope you enjoyed. <clears throat> and if you have any questions, I will be glad to uh, receive them at support at panorama.com.